hello there this is ahobiom and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time you're welcome you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again to see another video so guys today we're going to be starting a new series so this is career talks where i would be talking with different individuals from different professional backgrounds they would come and give us insights on how to navigate into these careers how to move around it what skills are required they would share their stories and all of that good stuff without talking too much let's jump into the gist for today so here we meet today we're starting our first episode on career talks and i have noah noah is a cyber security specialist today's topic is going to be career talks around cyber security okay so first of all thank you for agreeing to come on uh today so can you give us like a brief introduction tell us about yourself what you do and just like a little background on your career so i'll start from i studied in in information security um and from then during that time i i did some professional certifications around um, networking and that was my foundation mm -hmm. and i did my master's also in uh, information security digital forensics and these all added to um, my initial curiosity into cyber security. And um, yeah, I started working in the area and have been in it since. Okay, so like what is your job role at the moment? And what job roles did you do? Like, can you just give us like a brief, okay, how many years into cyber security are you? And can you give us like just short rundown, okay, this job, this, 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 just the job roles. I started as a SOC analyst, which is Security Operation Center Analyst. Mm -hmm. And prior to that, I had done um, investigation on cyber bullying, and, th and that was mainly in a research area. Um, from the SOC analyst, I went on to do threat intelligence. Under the threat intelligence, there were various aspects, subfields in threat intelligence which that involved um, threat response, vulnerability and vulnerability management and the rest. Mm -hmm. And from there, currently now I'm still doing um, in similar area, but more broad than threat detection and response. It's still another area in cyber security. Basically, cyber security is, a, is another huge field inside infotech. A lot of big silos that are coming up Every new three months, there are different new job titles coming up in cyber security. A interesting, lot, yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so first of all, if you don't know what cyber security is, which I believe you already know what cyber security is. So basically, we're talking about securing our entire, like the whole digital world that we are now in. So everything security when it comes to, you know how you have the security guard guarding your house. So they are the security guards guarding our online presence, internet, home appliance, everything, right? Yeah, yeah, everything is kind of, um, so basically cyber security, we are trying to secure the cyber space. This involves yeah, secure the, assets, the cyber space. Physical asset, digital asset, and also where the digital world meets the physical world. So okay. this is also included in cyber security. And uh, how many years? Have you been in this field? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if I can calculate, let's just say minimum five years. Uh, five years? I feel like you've been in this field for like 10 years. <laughs> okay, anyways, I've heard you say you had to study, you had to do a master's in infotech, but uh, we're currently in a, like at the moment, a lot of tech jobs tell you you don't need a background in a particular field and you can just come in without a degree like a university degree affirmative yeah so how would you say one can get into cyber security just like fresh starts entry level how do i if i'm interested in pursuing a degree in cyber security how do i get on with this um so for cyber security to, to, to start the basic knowledge you need to know first is you need to know about computers basically so you need to have some general background about computers how it works architecture and um, then the next part that will be most important for cyber security especially the core part of cyber security will be networking you have to do some part of networking that involve knowing the ip address subnet port numbers tcp ip and all those kind of stuff those are the real real foundation so whether you're a master student bachelor student undergraduate or not nobody really cares Provided you know these basics, if you know these basics, and you can actually go around it. Like, uh, would you say like there are like uh, some trainings to take yes. to get you started up? Yeah. Do you have any recommendations? Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of trainings to to do. Um, I think there are two two aspects. Let me divide it first. There's normal cyber security terminologies which would help you to scale interviews. Then the other part is the basic knowledge, which is I I think 
basic knowledge about computer info infotech basic infotech and the next part will be uh, networking and one of the main courses I think that covers that should be um, any course that covers um, Cisco Cisco CCNA um, is one Cisco CCNA, Cisco CCNA okay. but it's expensive mm -hmm. the other one could be CompTIA Network Plus or CompTIA A Plus both of them so if you're doing CCNA you can do CCNA alone if you're doing CompTIA you can do CompTIA A Plus and CompTIA M Plus but this all depends on what you already know if you already in the computer field already you may not need to do computer a plus can just do computer n plus already and also if you already if you're already good in networking you don't need to do any of those you could just jump into introduction to cyber security some courses that explains to you terminologies in cyber security field so this all depends and in, in where what at what part of the journey you're starting okay i know that earlier uh, some months back you had shared some courses with me some links to taking some courses on coursera and i think we also had one from google I don't yeah. remember so, uh, net card so you had yeah. sent some of this so i'm going to put those uh courses in the description box so you can check them out if you're interested in transitioning or starting a career in cyber security these courses would go a long way like he said you need introduction to networking you need like basic it knowledge just yes. infotech knowledge yes. you need to know what is going on in the infotech like the terminologies of cyber security yeah. in cyber security terminologies is even very important because mm -hmm. in most of the interviews you may not be able to escape without those okay okay so the next question is what skills would you say are beneficial like what skills would should someone of course we've mentioned the courses mm -hmm. but are they like of course like just like every, every job role has like the soft skills and the hard skills for for soft skills i would say uh you have to be analytical mm -hmm. you have to be um, very good in communicating because there'll be a lot of reporting you have to analyze some things and report it you have to be good in communication mm -hmm. how to put your thoughts from your head into a report some of the the, the roles we involve you using multiple um, platforms at once and to, to to gather information and also you have to be good with social media to an extent sadly and interestingly some part of cyber security and crosses um, the use of social media because you have to find out open source information mm -hmm. and it oh, depends on the level but most of the times this will happen that you need to gather uh, information from open do source. we have any softwares that someone can like learn about to help with this um there are no software this these are just uh um okay let me just go back backtrack to some basic knowledge you need to know about cyber security mm -hmm. the cyber security first is it is a field of c computer science that came from the military right mm -hmm. so if you're thinking about cyber security you have to like put your mind into like what does military do so you have different defense yeah SOC analysis SOC analysis security operations so this could be in the military could two special operations units so if you put that in perspective you now know that military people they need some real life experience or should i say you have to like place things in context. So your social media skill will en enable you to place things in context, looking for exposure for a company and placing it in context. But there are no known tools in how to use this. This is just self-development. Okay, so self-development is key in this field. Uh, can you quickly walk us through a day in the life of a cybersecurity uh, specialist or a SOC engineer? What exactly do you do? Just okay um like i said earlier because the uh, cyber security is very huge mm -hmm. like in, in more interestingly like recently there are a lot of different fields that opening up um for them for m people that will be coming in most likely you if the possibility that you'll be starting from a SOC ng um, SOC analyst or uh, cyber security analyst or specialist this is uh, one of the roles you might be starting in a typical day would be you would receive you might be working on a shift basis mm -hmm. and 247 you might be working using some tools like Curada, um, Splunk, Microsoft Sentinel um, and Sentinel One there are various CM tools you might be using so what you'll be doing with basically you come to work you open the platform you assign that some tickets are assigned to you you investigate it and you you triage or you report or you escalate this and the people might process this information and get it back to you and tell you if it's true positive or not and based on this you could do more the investigation could be long it could be short it all depends on the stuff and after that you send a report this is the basic role you could do now where it gets more interesting is the investigative part because mm -hmm. this is very dynamic different incidents will be happening and while you're investigating it you might interact with a closed information with about just the company sometimes you might interact with open source information they call it open source intelligence and this process makes it interesting for some people which means even if you might be doing shift-based work you might find some things that are non-routine non like that you might enjoy 
Okay. And thank you so much for answering. So my next question is, can you give us like different job titles? Because I know that there's one key thing about job hunting is that you may know that, okay, I'm interested in a particular field, but when you don't know like the different job roles, this would like really limit your reach mm -hmm. when it comes to application. So for example, I'm interested in applying as an entry level cybersecurity person, personnel or professional. I don't know what job roles to, to check on LinkedIn or on Indeed mm -hmm. or any of these websites for. Can you give us like possible job roles? Uh, for now, um, okay, uh, for entry level, let me focus on that one because yeah, entry entry for, level. For entry level, we have things like SOC analyst. SOC analyst. SOC is S O C analyst. Or, okay. Or SOC specialist. Sorry, what does it mean? Security operations center specialist. Operations okay. center analyst. Okay, specialist or analyst. Yes. SOC. So, in some cases, some companies call it as NOC analyst, which is network operations center specialist. Network operations center, center specialist. Which is okay. NOC. NOC. Yeah. Then another name could be cybersecurity specialist or cybersecurity analyst. Okay. And most of the time you could interchange specialist and analyst uh, as the case may be. Another one could be Microsoft Sentinel specialist. This is new. You could find something like um, Sentinel specialist. You could find. But is this entry specialist. level? Entry level also, but these are just the specific name of the products. That ah, okay, okay. Some companies instead of to to post the job as SOC analyst, they just post it like the product specialist, right? Something uh, like that. Uh. Uh, so. Um, so this is what brings back the knowledge of like when you mentioned those skill the the skills and the tools that you use like school, sentinel yeah, if yes, you know yes, sentinel yes, you yes. can apply for yes, this exactly exactly so if you know it you can apply, apply for it but most of the times if you type cyber security you see a range of stuff then in that case if you want to specify you could consult someone or ask someone that knows about it to maybe help you to to, to filter down but to be honest it's very bad for me to give a big picture to explain it because the, the, it, it, yeah the it field changes. is very broad and it's changing <laughs> and it's dynamic a lot. yeah ah okay so dynamic field and uh broad field but the good thing is we've gotten at least four or five names that you can just search up you can do a linkedin search or an indeed search or any other job hunting platforms that you use you can search with these terminologies and you would find these jobs in this area thank you so much for having this conversation uh so my last question is if i am now a SOC analyst what is the career path for me like how do i grow from this like within the cyber security field of course i'm not talking of growing outward i'm talking of within the field that's where it gets more interesting like there are there are infinite uh, amount of paths you could take and even to make it more exciting is that some roles could be created for you specifically if uh -huh. you if you find out that you're more a specialist like now, some years ago, there were nothing like, um, I think Microsoft products in this area is just developing. So we have things like Sentinel, Microsoft Sentinel specialist or Azure specialist, or you could have roles like threat detection and response, threat hunting. These are very, very specialized roles that there are very few people that are doing it in the world. So if you try those parts, you could find it very interesting. There's also an aspect of vulnerability management. You could do that and uh, you could also go into um, CISO, which is um, is, um, is Cyber Information Security Officer. Um, there, there, there are a whole lot. There, there, okay. There are lots to okay. Around our okay. Head. Thank you so much. Okay. So uh, I have another question for you, and the question is: Is cyber security a coding-based career? Because a lot of people want to transition into tech, but we're looking into non-coding roles, right? People are looking for. Uh, those kind of fields. So, what is cyber security? Is there any form of code required? Any knowledge of code? Yes and no. There are some aspects of cyber security that require that may require you to to do some coding, mm -hmm. but not necessary. But the part of coding is more scripting, which means writing of scripts, or you don't need to write a new script. You just need to expand on script that's already written. But also, there are some parts of cyber security that may not require you to do coding. Some part like maybe threat detection or um, normal threat intelligence or so those the, the, in those areas they don't need to know to, to know coding vulnerability management you don't need to know coding um, but you might just need to know how to use Microsoft PowerShell or some Python just to script if you have that better but if you don't have it you can it's still not, work it's not it's required. Still, it's still required yeah, yeah. Uh, I know that when I was younger I used to romanticize uh ethical hackers this was mm -hmm. something that i wanted to it was a field that i was mm -hmm. interested in how do you have anything to say about this ah uh, yes e ethical hacking is a is a field in cyber security but is is diluting a bit because now we have what they call penetration testing also we have red teaming purple teaming blue teaming this is various aspect of hacking one is internal hacking external hacking another one is hacking from when you don't know the person paid services anyway so these these are all the areas of cyber of uh, ethical hacking 
but um, you don't necessarily need coding to do some of them mm -hmm. some of them you just need an interface some those interface you can buy them yourself some of mm -hmm. them are commercial product or so but yeah you could actually do ethical hacking without knowing without doing hacking without knowing how to program yeah okay so i also want to add that all of us somehow have a cyber security conscious mindset whether you like FBI. it or not yeah because from uh from your normal social media putting uh passwords and uh yeah. two-factor authentication like i was hacked a couple of months ago and after that hack like my sense of security just went times five or times ten Par paranoia. yeah paranoia so i feel like all of us have it in us so this mm -hmm. is a career path that you can just navigate into because you already have the basics of <laughs> cyber yes, security and, and maybe i should add in this mm -hmm. because it's very important to know that if you're going to enter in this area and you're going to go more into the investigative aspect of it then and uh, you have to be ready because you the paranoia will be there and uh, like i said part of this work is included with what is happening in the world so like if you're someone like you're maybe afraid of what is happening around a lot of news you have to be conscious about that because there are a lot of intersection between real world happenings and what you're investigating in yeah that's area. just to tell you that my guy here is very <laughs> okay guys okay let's go on to the next question so the last question i have for you today is give us a tip as a cyber security professional one tip to any new person who is intending to join this field what advice would you give if you're going to join this field just get ready to always um take professional certification at least twice a year and you may you won't be able to escape this once you escape this this is the period where you may not be um you may not um have any value you may, you may not have any value or sustainable value because uh, like i said in the field technologies are improving much faster than the field itself which means the names are changing tools are changing your companies your organization will force you to go through new studies every time so at, at least to keep yourself on track you need to probably do one or two of those trainings every year and luckily most of the companies will fund you to do this but if they don't you still have to do it yourself all right thank you so much Noah, for coming on today thank you for an awesome conversation i hope you've been able to learn something if you're interested in moving to this cyber security field there like i said i would be putting in the description box some courses that uh, he would share with me that you can also take to help yourself and level up in order to apply for your first role as a SOC analyst or a cyber security analyst or whatever the job role is. So guys, do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to comment. If you would like to see more of this or you have like any suggestions when it, like concerning the whole career talk series that I'm going to be doing, please make sure to write in the comment section and I would follow through with your ideas. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.